Hello everyone. Today we're going to be geologists at the San Andreas Fault. Geologist is a scientist who studies the earth, especially looking at how rocks, minerals, and soil are formed and change over time. The San Andreas Fault is a good place to do that because a fault is the border where two different pieces of land come together. The earth has many different pieces of land that move very slowly over time. The pieces of land are called tectonic plates. And when they push together, pull apart or rub against each other, it can cause things like volcanic eruptions or earthquakes. There are many fault lines around the world, but the San Andreas Fault is a famous one because it's a long fault line in California where many earthquakes had occurred. The word fault has the aw sound in it, which is made with the letters A-U. This is usually how you make the aw sound in the middle of the word, like in hall, haunt, or cause. However, we usually make the aw sound with the letters A-W, like in paw, claw, or draw, especially when the aw sound comes at the end of a word. Let's practice some ways to make the aw sound now. When you see the letters appear on the screen, make the sounds that the letters make, and then we'll blend them together to say the words. Ready? T. R. Aw. Often at the end of the word, an aw sound is made with aw. D -r -aw, d -r aw. I like to draw animals. P. Aw. We don't hear that silent e at the end. At the beginning or middle of a word, aw is sometimes done with an au together. P. Pause. Pause. When we get to the spelling words, you can pause the video with the button that has this symbol to give yourself time to write down the words. K. Aw. T. Sometimes there's a silent GH after that AU. So AU together can make the aw sound, and AUGH can also make the aw sound in the middle of a word. K. Aw. T. Caught. I caught a butterfly, or I caught a frog, I caught a fish. It's the past tense of catch. B. All. D. Sometimes when you have the A-L together, it makes the all sound, which sounds very similar to the A-U and A-W ways of saying it. But all. Bald means having no hair. Now it's time for the high frequency words. These are words that you should be able to recognize as soon as you see them when we're reading because they're used a lot. So make sure you say each word after I say it. Brother. Father. Father. Friend. Love. Mother. Picture. Vocabulary words are ones that we might need to know the meaning of as well because these might be new words for you. So pay close attention. I'll explain the meaning and make sure you say each word after I say it. Accept. This means you allow something to happen or you accept it. So you can say, I accept this gift from you or I accept your apology. Often. Often means something happens frequently, more than once. I often like to go outside. Time for some geological jokes. What did one tectonic plate say when it bumped into another tectonic plate? Sorry, my fault. Get it? Knock, knock. Who's there? Ground. Ground who? Ground the back, the front door's locked. What did the fault line say about these jokes? They crack me up. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, time for the spelling words. Remember, with the spelling words, these words, many of them use the aw sound. So you have to remember the patterns for when that is used in the middle of a word or at the end of a word. And let's see how you can do before you see how the words are spelled. After I say each word, pause the video so you can write it down on a whiteboard or a piece of paper. And at the end, we'll collect one half for each word because a fault line is where the ground can split in half. So we're going to collect halves for this activity. We'll just pause after each word and then resume the video to see the correct spelling. Hall. 
to haul something away means to carry it or move it. Cause. If you cause something to happen, it makes an effect or something that occurs later. Saw. That can be an instrument that you use to cut or it can be the past tense of see. I saw something yesterday. Claw. Paw, as in the dog or the cat had its paw stretched out. Dawn, dawn is another word for when the day starts in the morning or sunrise. Moon, soup, love. Friend. You have to be careful with the spelling of love and friend because as you can see, they're not spelled exactly as they sound. Love has an O and an E, but it's not pronounced love. Now we're going to collect one half for each word and here's how you collect those halves. Remember, one half is when you split something into two equal parts. So the numerator on top tells you how many parts you have. We have one part out of the two total parts that it was split into. So if we were to collect halves for each word, we would go one half and another half makes two halves. But two halves means we have the whole object now. So that is also just known as the number one. So you would go one half and another half makes one, one whole. And then if we were to collect another half, well, we already have one. So now we will say we have one and a half, and one whole and another half. So as you go and check each word, you'll see that the first words have the AU pattern in the middle of the word. So we collect one half if you got that one right, and then another half makes one. If you get a third one right, it's one and a half. And now we see the aw ah sounds with the aw at the end of the word. One and a half, two, two and a half, three. Now we have another hole, so if we collect another half, we'd get three and a half. If we collect another half, that half will become a hole, so we'll have four, four and a half, Five, you could get five total points for this activity. Well, that's it for today's lesson. If you're interested to learn more about geology, you can become a rock detective by watching this fun video by SciShow Kids.